So I'm going to leave it to you, maybe a background on BTC trip, background on yourself, how you got involved in Bitcoin, okay? Okay, perfect. So, hello, uh, my name is Martin Fernandez. I'm starting in Bitcoin community in 2013. We founded the first travel online agency accepting Bitcoin. At that time, nobody was in the Bitcoin community offering travel service like us. Later, uh, Chip Air and Expedia start to accept Bitcoin. But I feel completely uh, compromised with the Bitcoin community, and I think we are more than accepting Bitcoin. We propose to be Bitcoiners and to follow the evolution of Bitcoin. So nowadays we are launch a new service for the next year, and we will have a service. The name is Hotel Network, and we we came up with the idea to offer to the Bitcoiners when they fly around the world to exchange Bitcoin for local currency through a hotel network. So we are offering this new service uh, in the first quarter of 2015 and we hope to contribute more in the ecosystem and for travelers with Bitcoin and also um, we are trying to continue disrupting the travel market using the blockchain. Can you listen to me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, I was three weeks ago in Los Angeles in Focus Ride, which is one of the top events in the travel space in Los Angeles. And I was describing the potential of blockchain for travel industry. I was very excited because travel space is less restriction than the financial system and it's a lot of opportunity there. So I describe the potential of the blockchain and the smart transaction. Now then we have in the travel space we have a private network. Private network like uh, Amadeus, like uh, Travelport, different uh, private network for, for uh, our tickets and we have private networks also for hotels. So in some point it's very monopolic system, very centralized. And I was talking there about the potential of a future agreement directly with the hotels using a blockchain. So a hotel in the future could upload the available rules into the blockchain and to get booking directly from the users. And even the the hotel networks uh, independence they can uh, upload, maybe if they have available space on the year, maybe they have 10% of the available uh, uh, hotel space. So if you are traveling agency, you can book directly to the hotel and make an agreement with them and to say, okay, I make a special offer for you for these uh, empty, empty rooms for all this year. And uh, we can operate more decentralized we nowadays booking is is very a uh, booking Expedia they control basically the market so the whole independent hotel they can give 30 percent of commission in each room so it's a lot and um, I think the potential of blockchain for that industry is very huge so now we are looking forward to be more involved with the projects like Ethereum and others which are dealing with this smart contract and uh, we are proposing for the travel industry. So Martin, right now on your site, only only travel, you can't book hotels through your site, right? Yeah, yeah. We are offering now air tickets and hotels, but using the traditional networks. Uh, so next step for next year is hotel exchange uh, for Bitcoin, so it's something more secure than local Bitcoin because if you are traveling around the world like Argentina, you have a parallel rate here in Argentina, so you can convert your Bitcoin for parallel rate and you can meet this cash in the hotel, so it's more secure. So the idea was trying to make it something more secure like a, a meeting in the bar with a, somebody that, that you know. So in some point we are trying to make more secure this exchange of Bitcoin. 
And the good thing is also if you are leaving the hotel, we will give the opportunity to the traveler to give back the pesos or other uh, currency, and the hotel can provide you a Bitcoin. And we are developing the platform for, for the hotels. How how do your prices compare to the others like Cheap Air, like some of the other traveling? I mean, we actually looked today, I think, to book some flights for, I think it was the Dominican Republic, but we noticed that the prices were better than what we could find online. How do your prices compare? Yeah, uh, I started here in Buenos Aires, so basically I got better prices for Latin America. Uh, now we, we are signing a new contract with the wholesaler. For Asia, Europe, and United States. So, even even if we are planning to to give for two years a uh, air ticket without commission. So the idea is to support the community. I supported already the the Rio conference, and of course, I, I even I I support the big films for an Adam. Uh, so the idea of my company is try to support different conferences around the world and different projects through my pay, which is travel. How has it been with uh, the competition that's coming into that's coming to the market? So regular companies that now accept Bitcoin. I've noticed with uh, companies like Bitcoin Shop, Bitcoin Store, as soon as some other large chains started getting involved, you know, they were completely, you know, they, they lost a lot of the share. They had to diversify into other projects. Are you finding that other, as more and more other airlines start accepting Bitcoin, is that going to you know, be difficult on your business? I think uh, it's a lot of friction in the portal of, of, of travel. So I decided to go in another direction, not to try to be a competitor of Expedia because this is something crazy. But I know uh, Expedia can disrupt the market they can go less commission. Uh, so my, my plan for the next year is to reduce the commission and start to use more the technology of blockchain to disrupt this, this travel market. So the idea is, is also to get some airlines maybe in the blockchain in the future. So we have a lot of potential for, for creating new new ways to book directly with the airline companies. Now, now we have a lot of problems in the CDS booking system. Like if I'm traveling to Europe and I arrive to Spain and I have one Bitcoin and I want to check which uh, tickets are available for this amount, this is impossible request in the database of the booking system because everything is very private. So they don't want to share the information. I th I would like to be the ambassador of this change in the travel space. So basically, our, our site start selling just tickets and hotels, but I'm looking forward to to change a little the rules of this market. How do you plan on rolling out the the new program with the hotel <coughs> hotel operators? <laughs> Will you be going direct with each operator, or are you looking to, take, to partner up with chains? Yeah, first, uh, we will make a agreement with the hotels, first in Latin America, because we are more closer. So we have a couple of hotels in Argentina already, in Brazil, in Chile, in Colombia, in Panama. And we will offer to the hotels not to keep the Bitcoin if they want to look uh, lock the price in the US or euros or local currency, we can lock the price for the hotels. So they basically, they can start to exchange Bitcoin without risk and to learn more about Bitcoin through us. So this is a little idea. No? And this is something completely new for the travel market. I don't have any competitor at the moment. Gotcha. And there'll be, I guess, the, the, the rates would be comparable to local bitcoins. Can the operators decide what fees they want to charge? Yeah, yeah. We will try to make more, even much better than local bitcoin in some countries, because in some countries, local bitcoin maybe is 3% plus over the, the price of the stuff. So we are trying to make a better deals and also to get parallel rates in some areas where the US dollar has an official rate and parallel rate. So 
through VT Street, you can check the, the exchange rate and you can book it directly from our side and you have already uh, that money in this country. And we are using a structure, legal structure from the hotel industry, which is a, a voucher, we say. So we create a voucher, like in Argentina, in pesos argentinos. So when you are right, you exchange this voucher of pesos for your bitcoins. Gotcha. And, and you live in Argentina, correct? Yeah, uh, we. Uh, I live in Argentina, but I'm thinking to move to U.S. Maybe in the end of the next year. Can you talk a little bit about the, the community in Argentina? Yeah, how, of how, course. How, how vibrant is the Bitcoin? I mean, we hear, you know, it's a perfect place for Bitcoin. All the capital controls in Argentina. Talk a little bit about the about about the community. How passionate the people are. Maybe some of the, the meetups and, and events that you guys do over there. Yeah. You know, Argentina is a country with a lot of problem with the economical level, a lot of inflation, we have a, a, too much. Uh, we are dealing every day with the fluctuation of dollar and many things of the economy. So for entrepreneurs like me and others in Argentina, it was easy to understand that Bitcoin is the future uh, for everybody in this international uh, crisis of economy. So the, the meetups here is they are very huge. We have a very enthusiastic peers person involved in Bitcoin in Argentina, and I think we will grow a lot here because we have the perfect atmosphere to be a doctor of Bitcoin and to support them. And BTC Trip is an example for that because I start the site without without any speculation. I showing to the to the Bitcoin as early adopter and decide to make a service to, to share with the community. And I make a post in Reddit, you can make a Google and check it, and I say, hey everybody, we, we are offering travel tickets with Bitcoin, and we need just for, for make fun. And suddenly Bitcoin start to grow more, and some investors call us, but in the first time we just did this thing, to be Bitcoin riding with more service. How I've spoken to different people in Argentina. Is it difficult uh, relationships with the government when you're involved in Bitcoin? There is there anything that you're afraid of? Yeah, uh, the government of Argentina said last time you have to take care about Bitcoin, but it's not forbidden. So we can operate here. We have the restriction, similar restriction of the United States, but I think it's a, a, a little gray here to operate with Bitcoin. Uh, I think part of the of the compliance will come after US has a, a, a compliance too. So the Latin America try to copy a little the style of the legal legal compliance of US, but here uh, we are very open for 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 use Bitcoin. And I'm going to ask you one more question. I'm going to open up to the floor see if anybody has questions. Is yeah. there any, any other competitors that are that are doing something similar to you are in terms of accepting, um, you know, flights and Bitcoin, uh, accepting Bitcoin for flights? Aside yeah. from aside from say the airline companies, is there any any other companies that are doing a Bitcoin business based solely on that? Yeah, uh, I think uh, we don't have any competitors in the next service of of exchange money in local places through through the travelers. Uh, I think in the future I will continue also now and be sitting all the travel events and it's funny because all the travel events around the world they, they don't know nothing about Bitcoin. Even a girl from a venture capital from Dubai after my pitch she asked me are you the creator of Bitcoin? So I, I got quickly the, the, that they, they, they can understand completely this thing and it's a huge potential. After my pitch, the only person who can understand this idea of blockchain was the CEO of Expedia who come to me and say, me, hello Martin, I like your pitch. I met also the, the CEO of Priceland, but they are very busy, still busy. In the in the business, so we have a lot of space for entrepreneurs in the travel space to make things. Okay. Do we have any questions for Martin? 
Yes. Uh, yeah, suppose I buy a plane tickets with Bitcoin and uh, for some reason the, the, the transporter is not able to provide service because of weather or the plane gets uh, canceled. Do I get refunded in Bitcoins or do I get refunded in the equivalent US dollars? And what happens if the price of Bitcoin double or drop in health, for example? Thank you. Okay, now, nowadays we have to give back in US because the companies, they ask me for US. So in the future, when the company receives Bitcoin, I can refund directly Bitcoin. So nowadays we, we have to make refunds related in US. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> At the beginning of your, of your intro, you talked about smart contracts and Ethereum. Um, yeah. It's part of your expansion plans. I was just wondering if you could expand on that a little bit in terms of how those innovations will help you to develop the service. I think we have a, in the travel industry the information driver. So a couple of big players control all this information. But if we have a decentralized blockchain and the independent code can start, can start to upload the available spaces and they put it in the blockchain. So if you are a, a, a small travel agency, you can say to the to the hotel, okay, I buy this, I make a smart, I, I make a contract with you, and in the in, for for a future bookings, and later this agent can set the option of this agreement to order. So we can start to group and make uh, agreements, maybe not just for one, one room, also for maybe, I don't know, 3% of the one hotel, 2% of the available rooms of other hotels. So we can start to trade these, these rooms, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is uh, something very, very powerful through the blockchain. And the hotel, they can receive directly the Bitcoin, so I think it's, it's incredible. Anyone else? <clears throat> uh, how long before um, you would be tapping into other markets? I know you mentioned about South America, but Asian side, uh, uh, how long um, is that on your uh, timeline in terms of uh, giving some flights over there? In which areas? Asian market, Asian Pacific, right? Ah, Asian. Yeah, I signed out and now the contract with the wholesale in India, and they are offering me now more Asia uh, airlines. And also, I'm starting to talk with Huawei, with Leon, the CEO, to make a Mandarin version for BTC Stream. So uh, maybe in April of next year, I go to Beijing to meet the Huawei team. And maybe, maybe we can make something together for the Chinese market and Asia. So now I, I'm super happy to have this passport of Bitcoiner because you can meet people around the world with the passport of Bitcoin. So this is something cool for me. Anyone else? So, okay. yeah. Yes, um, We get a lot of cancellations for weather in Canada. And I, if I have a flight that is canceled for weather, I understand I can get my refund in Canadian dollars, but is there support to help me get on the next flight so that I can get home? Or do I have to go through a whole cancellation, refund, repurchase process? Yeah. You know, the policy of these travels came from the airlines. Basically, our travel online is offering the same policies of the airline companies. But I think it's a, a, a big opportunity in the maybe five years to start to, to in, with some airlines, start to say, hey, why we are not showing to the blockchain and we make more offers to the user? Like if, if today you book a flight with a good price, and maybe uh, you can travel uh, at that date. At, at this point, you can cancel, you have to cancel the ticket and to receive part of the money. But in the future, if the airlines operate directly with the blockchain, maybe we can book a good, tip, a, a good ticket 
and maybe from the blockchain we can change the name and to send this ticket to other. So I can say, hey, I have a ticket to New York just for a six hundred dollars, and I transfer to you. So this is impossible now in the uh, online uh, in the airline companies. You can transfer tickets, and uh, maybe in the future using a blockchain technology, we will. We will we, able to transfer tickets to another person, you know. So well, it sounds like you're you're hoping that blockchain technology is going to offer more choice for passengers and also better options for agents uh, who are trying to compete with the larger organizations but are feeling shut out. I guess, is that pretty much sum up where you think the blockchain will work with the in in this in this, in this industry? Yeah, for sure. If you have a company who which want to make a, a, a big competition with other big ones, they can say, okay, I'm offering this airplane, a charter for this destination. I put it in the blockchain. So if I receive all the, the airplane full, I give this price. So this could be something amazing. If some airlines start to accept the idea to offer the, 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 the prices and to put the prices directly in the blockchain, and they can say, okay, if I I I, I saw I said this airline, uh, this destination at this days in this time, uh, we got a special price. So it's very decentralized the prices now. Uh, if we are making like that, because the the travel agency and the CDS control all the information, and they don't want to give. The information for normal user. This is not an open source uh, technology. It's private. So start to talk about that. Not if not only me. More people talking about we want a sheet open CDS using a blockchain technology. We will reduce a lot the price of the ticket, and we will have, we will have more options for everybody. <coughs> Martin, thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, thank you very much.